Hello, today we're going to be dividing negative numbers, working with dividing some positive, some negative numbers, and see what the rules are for that. The division rule, this may look very familiar. There is only one rule with division, count your negatives. Looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? If there is an even number of negatives or no negative numbers, your solution will be positive. If there is an odd number of negatives, your solution will be negative. It's very similar to the multiplication rule. In fact, it, it is exactly the same. Multiplying and dividing with negatives is the same thing. Count the number of negatives. Let me show you how it works. So negative 9 divided by 3. We're going to count the number of negative numbers. I have here a 9 and a 3. 9 is negative, so I have one negative number. 1 is an odd number. So therefore, the final answer is going to be negative. So I can go ahead and divide. 9 over 3 is the same thing as 9 divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And my solution will be a positive 3. Wait a minute. What did I forget? Uh -huh. I have to remember that it is negative, because it's really negative 9 divided by 3. I've counted by negatives. I know my final answer is going to be negative, so I have to remember to plug in that negative 3 at the end for my final solution. That's how it works with um, dividing. Same rules as multiplying. Let's take a look at one that has two negative numbers. Negative 15 divided by negative 3. We count the number of negatives. There's a 15 and there's a 3. That's one, two negative numbers. There's two negative numbers. We'll take that as an even number of negatives. So the final answer will be positive. So 15 divided by 3, I'm just going to solve like normal. 15 divided by 3 is 5. My result is going to be positive. So we're done. That's it. All right. So with negative numbers, that's exactly what you're doing. You count the number of negatives. And if it's an even number, your final number is positive. If it's an odd number of negatives, your final answer is negative. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and give some a try here. You can pause the recording, work these ones out. Let me know what you get. Actually, you can't let me know what you get because we're not in class, but you could sort of write it down or something. Anyway, I can let you know what I got. 54 divided by 9 is 6. I have one negative number, so my final result is going to be negative. I have 81 divided by 3, negative 81 divided by negative 3, I should say. I know 81 divided by 3 is 27. I have two negative numbers. That's an even number of negatives. Negative divided by a negative gives me a positive. There we go. So that's what I would end up with. Negative 6 for the first question, positive 27 for the second one. All right. Now let's mix up some division with subtraction. Um, we did this in the previous lesson. Again, mixing, the, mixing them, we have to remember the rules for addition and subtraction are different than the rules for division and multiplication. So we'll start out by working in the order of operations. We always do what's inside the grouping symbols first. So we're going to start out by saying 2 minus negative 8. Minus negative 8 is the same thing as saying plus 8. So this is the same as saying 2 plus 8. Inside our grouping symbols, 2 plus 8 is 10. Once we've finished everything inside the grouping symbols, we can get rid of them. And 90 divided by 10 is 9. All right, that one was pretty straightforward. We just had to remember that minus negative 8 is the same thing as plus 8. All right, with this one, we're going to do a little bit of addition with negative numbers and see what happens here. Again, we've got our grouping symbols here. We've got our grouping symbols here. So we're going to solve this side of grouping symbols and this one. And then at the end, we're going to divide whatever we have solved. So negative 25 plus negative 2. And positive 3 plus negative 12. We know that plus negative, when we're adding a negative number, that's the same as subtracting. So I'm going to get rid of these parentheses and just make it minus 2 or minus 12. So now I have negative 25 minus 2 and positive 3 minus 12. I'm going to solve those. I have a negative 25. I take away two more. That gives me negative 27. 
I have a positive 3 and I take away 12, that's going to give me a negative 9. Now we're at the point where we have to actually do some division. Negative 27 divided by negative 9. At this point, what am I going to do? I need to count the number of negatives. I have one negative number, two negative numbers. I have two negative numbers. If I'm dividing a, po a negative divided by a negative, my result will be positive. So my final answer is going to be positive. It's like I take 27 divided by 9, which is 3, and I just make it positive because I know that when I'm dividing a negative number divided by a negative number, the result's positive. All right? And just remember, just because two negatives make a positive when you're dividing or multiplying, it doesn't mean two rights make a wrong or two negatives make a positive in life. Have a great day.